Hi, my name is Bill Raymond. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share your open source project on GitHub using Visual Studio. For my project, I have a C Sharp application, and it does a whole lot of things. It actually helps professional authors and publishers convert their ebook. However, part of that process is to activate the product. I have a free level and then two different paid levels for my product. So I used a solution called WooCommerce to sell my product on WordPress, and then I used their software add-on, which creates software license keys. The API and documentation for the license key solution is actually pretty limited, so I had to build a lot of this myself and figure it out along the way in C-sharp. I decided other people might be interested in the solution. And it really is made up of, this is my whole product over here on the right, but the solution to activate the product is really located under this product activation code, this class here that defines activation information, and the JSON response file, which basically kind of creates a contract between my um, JSON response and the C-sharp application. I thought it would be pretty easy to just bring this over and start sharing this with other people and kind of open source my solution. And it actually wasn't too hard. It did take me a few hours. As it turns out, of course, my application is specific to my product. So I had lots and lots of code that called other bits of code that I did not want to share with other people, specifically how exactly I tie the license to the user's computer. So I wanted to remove all of that. And so I created a brand new project and I just added the bits that are important to the product. So now you can see there's a program.cs and an activation response.cs and this readme.txt. I'll get into this in a minute. Before I share this up on GitHub with everyone, I wanna make sure it works. So I can go ahead and click start. I put all sorts of sample things in there like mywebsite.com and you can see here the connection doesn't work but I did test this to make sure it does work before I share it with anyone. That's something you'll want to do before you share your solution up on GitHub. Now the next thing that I did is I created a readme file. The readme file lists out all the important things that you need to know about the solution including how to install it, any known issues, and things like that. As a matter of fact, I want to make sure that I fix this. Uh, I'm going to just type hash in front of these two areas here, and that's going to create a heading. If I did two hashes, then that would be a heading two, three heading three dot hashes, and it would be heading three. So this is basically um, lightweight HTML that I'm doing here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and save this file. And for the rest of the process, I'm going to show you how I took my solution that I want to save up on GitHub and get it up there for others to use. Even if you're sharing your solution as an open source product, product that anyone can use, you are going to need to sign up for GitHub first. And so you go to github.com, log in with the username, email, and password. And once you've done that, then you'll get your own page. And on that page, you can upload as many projects as you want. Now, by default, the, with the free tier, you're going to be using, anything you upload rather, is actually going to be open source by default. So make sure that you don't post up anything up here that you don't want others to see. Next, what you want to do is go to your solution in Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 2017. With 2015, you might need to uh, find the Git connector for first and then, and then go through this process. But I already have GitHub set up here. I'm gonna walk you through this. If you go to the View menu and you choose Team Explorer, that brings up this little area here and the screen might look a little different depending on where you are. If I click this little home icon, you can see I have a number of things that I can do to submit my solution to Git and what have you. But what I want is the manage connections. 
And you can see I have GitHub and I do not have any connections yet. So I'm going to sign in. And once I do that, the solution is going to find other projects that are on my homepage. This is just one that I already created. But I have not done anything to actually connect my project to GitHub yet. So basically all I've said is I'm connected to GitHub, but I haven't put any projects up there yet. To connect my solution up to GitHub, I'm going to go to the home icon and then I'm going to choose sync. Immediately Visual Studio knows that I'm not connected to a GitHub solution yet. So it's giving me a number of options. One is I could push this to Visual Studio Team Services or two, I could publish it to GitHub and that's what we're going to do. So I'll go ahead and say publish to GitHub and it's going to ask me for the name of the project and a description. I already have the description so I'll go ahead and paste that in. And if I had the enterprise version, then I could make this a private repository. Since I have the free version, this isn't an available to me. So whatever I publish is going to be free for anyone to download. I'll click the publish button. Once the solution's published, you'll see this activate add-on. Your project name has been successfully created. And it can say, it says you can create a new solution, but also over here, you can see here's a link to the project. So if I go ahead and click on that, then you'll see the solution listed here. There is a problem with this solution right now though. And you can see it says, help people who are interested in this repository understand your project by adding a readme. And it says add a readme. But why is that? Because we do have a readme file. Well, First of all, let's take a look at the structure of what's up here on GitHub right now. You can see there's a folder that contains my project and inside there are the files and there's that readme.txt file. Let's go back. So really what we want to do is get the readme file here at the root. Also, I called that file readme.txt. That's a common thing that we do in the Windows world as we create a .txt file. But in Git, you do not call it .txt, you call it .md. So we're gonna go ahead and rename that right now and put it in the right place. So here I'm gonna to go to the Solution Explorer. And the first thing I'm gonna do is rename readme.txt. So I'll just right click, choose rename, and call it readme.md, as in medical doctor. Press enter and say yes. That solves one part of the problem. The next piece is that we need to get this readme file up into the root folder of the project. Now, right now you're looking at this and saying, well, wait a minute, Bill, it is at the root of the project. But actually there is the root of the solution that Visual Studio is showing. And then there's the root of the folder as it sits on your hard drive. So to view that, you can see this little icon here that says solutions and folders. What you're gonna do is click on that. And if you click it again, it will bring it back to the solution view. Click it this time. And what it's showing us is everything underneath the file. And you can see it's located in my C drive over here. Everything in the project rather. So what I'm gonna do is locate this readme.md file. And I'm going to drag and drop it up here to the root folder. You'll say, do you want to? Yes, I do. Now I'm gonna show you a little quirk here with getting used to GitHub. I'm gonna to go to Team Explorer, Sync, and choose the Sync option. And notice how it says save changes to the following items and nothing's listed. This will give us a sense to, that not everything is as we, as we expect. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And I'm thinking, well, I just did a sync. So that means the readme MD file is there. So let's go back to the web page and I'll reload. And you can see it's not there. So I'm going to go 
back to Visual Studio here. And this time what I'm going to do is come back to the Solution Explorer. I'm still looking at the file structure here. And this time what I'm going to do is right click and choose Go to Get Changes. This time I'm going to say add readme.md to the root and remove readme.txt from the solution folder, something like that. Okay, now I'll just go ahead and commit that and sync it. This time what's happening is the files are going to be moved the way we expect them to. So now let's go back that it's now that's done. Let's go back to the website and here I'm going to reload the page. And now you can see the readme.md file is available to us. And if you need to make any changes, you can just go back to Visual Studio and make them. One last little tiny touch up here, going back to the solution explorer. Don't forget you can click this item here to kind of go back to your normal solution view. Now since we moved the files around a little bit, Visual Studio thinks that this readme.md file is still at the root of the, of the solution as it's being displayed when it's actually at the root of the project's folder structure in Windows. So what I can do here is just go ahead, right click this and choose exclude from project I could also choose delete. Either way, the file is no longer needed in this area. Thank you for watching this video. Please press the like button if this was a useful video for you, and please subscribe to our channel. It's really helpful for us if you're looking for more videos. Thank you.